hello everyone welcome back to my channel um please forgive my no glasses because you can see how bad my dark circles are um but we're going to cover those up in just a moment um i am going to be doing the best of horror on prime for september um, i had mentioned in my last video that i wanted to do these for prime and netflix um I think that just leaves Hulu because I'm going to do Prime right now and then right after I'm going to film my Netflix one. So that should those should be up at the same time. I'm going to upload them back to back. So you'll get to watch both of those um, shortly. But yeah, we're going to do the best of Prime for September. It, horror movies. Just horror movies. And I have 15. Um, I have 10 and then 5 extra. So we're going to get into that. I am going to be doing makeup at the same time. So hopefully that doesn't bother anybody. I have people that come for the horror content. Like just for the horror content. And they don't care about the makeup. So I'm not going to talk about the products that I'm using. If anybody wants to know. You can leave me a comment down below. And I will start listing that in the description. But um, I do have a, another makeup video to film. So partly I'm doing this because I like to incorporate makeup in my horror videos and also because I'm going to kill two birds with one stone because I need to have my makeup on anyway for that video so that's what we're doing I've already moisturized and primed so we're just going to get into it and again I'm not going to talk about the products at all so that way hopefully if you're just here for the horror content me putting makeup on doesn't bother you terribly if it does just listen to the video and don't watch actually watch me and then if it starts to bother people too much I'll just stop doing makeup during these but anyways okay so this is the best of horror on prime currently and I just looked this list up it is the f Friday the 5th of September 4th 5th so I just I literally just looked this list up so as of right now this these movies are currently on prime okay first one i have is 31 this is um a rob zombie movie i liked this movie i've seen this movie um a couple of times this is one that my husband and i rented from Redbox when it first came out and we forgot that we had seen it so i think it came we watched it on like a streaming box so um and we were like oh there's a rob zombie movie and we got about 15 minutes in and we were both like i think we've seen this movie it was 31 it's about a group of people that are traveling and they get abducted and then hunted by these like people they, they're dressed up like deranged clowns, but they're all like bounty hunters. And so you've got a group of like wealthy people that are watching. Like it's one of those where they're like murdering people for sport. And so there's all these bounty hunters. They're in like a warehouse situation. His wife is in it. Um, it's a good movie. It's not bad. Um, House of a Thousand Corpses and... The first Halloween remake that he did are probably my two favorite movies, just to kind of give you a gauge on how I feel about his films. I didn't mind Devil's Rejects, but House of a Thousand Corpses is probably my favorite movie of his. Um, I didn't care for Halloween originally when I first watched it. That was a movie I had to watch like three times before I really appreciated it just because it's so different and his style is so different from John Carpenter's. But just to kind of give you an idea, um, but I did like 31. So th that is on there if you haven't seen it. It is worth watching. The next I have is The Gate and this was made in the 80s. It's about a little kid. There's like a hole in his backyard there's like demons coming out it's been a long time since I've seen it but I have watched it. it's one of those I remember renting from the video store when that was still a thing um, and it was when I was I think I saw it when I was in high school it was one that I had seen on the shelf and was running out of things to rent it's a good movie um, it, the cast is good if I remember um, I said I don't remember it being bad so if you've never seen it or it's been a long time since you've watched it, I'm going to go back and watch it again. I haven't yet, but that is on there. Um, then we have The Midnight Meat Train. 
and this has Bradley Cooper in it. This came out right before his career like blew up. Um, it's such a good movie. Like I wish he would do more horror movies, but I think his career is past that point, unfortunately, and he just doesn't do those kinds of films. But it is such a good movie. Um, it's about you know they're in New York City and there's weird stuff going on in the subway and there's a serial killer like murdering people and it's just it's really well done the cast is really good I believe it's based on like a Clive Barker book I believe who if you're unfamiliar wrote um, was it the Hellbound Heart which was the basis for Hellraiser I believe it was one of his books or short stories um, I could be mistaken but it's, it's a good movie. Like I said, Bradley Cooper is the main character. If you've never seen him in that type of a role, it's definitely worth watching. It's a good movie. And it's one I've seen five or six times. Then we have Rosemary's Baby. Um, the original Rosemary's Baby. I believe that movie was remade in the late 90s. I think unless I'm thinking of a different movie, let me know down below. I, it, I could be at this point. Um... But it's the original, so I don't know that I need to say much more about it. It's a classic if you've never seen it. Generally, if you take any sort of film classes in college, this is a movie um, that is discussed even if the class isn't on the horror genre just because of the style um, and how it was filmed. Um, Roman Polanski was the director. Um, that was when he was either just had just married Sharon Tate or before right before he married Sharon Tate. So just it's just an iconic movie. So if you've never seen it, it's good. Like I said, it was made in the 70s, but it's it's I mean it's a little slow in parts, but it's definitely the premise of that is you know there's a woman that's pregnant and she thinks um, the father of her baby is the devil. And that she's having the devil's baby. That's the so she thinks she's having a demon baby. That's the premise of the movie. I don't want to say any more than that to spoil it. Another movie is Angel Heart. I, I feel like this movie is one that was gonna be remade or has been remade. I don't remember. This is the original if it was remade. I don't remember if this movie was actually remade or not. Um, it has Lisa Bonet from The Cosby Show. She's married to Jason Momoa, who is. Um, aqua man she is in it and robert de niro is in it it's an interesting movie i saw it once because it's one of those movies that um when you're watching those shows where people discuss popular like movies it's one that ends up on a lot of lists so I watched it just because I've heard people talk about it so much over the years. It's, I, there's voodoo stuff in it. There's another famous actor. He was in Sin City. I can't think of his name at the top, off the top of my head. He's in it. Um, it's a good movie. If you've never seen it, it's worth watching. Like it's different. It's not going to be a movie for everybody, but I feel like Rosemary's Baby and Midnight Me Train. Most of the movies in this list are not going to be for everybody. Um, but uh, yeah, Angel Heart is on there. And then we have Five Girls, which is an independent movie. Has Ron Perlman in it, who was in Sons of Anarchy. He was Hellboy. Um, it's about some girls at a boarding school, a Catholic boarding school, and then there's like demons. It's a good movie. I saw it years ago. Um, I want to rewatch it it's been a long time since I've seen it but it is a good movie uh, case 39 has Renee Zellweger in it she plays a social worker and the kid in question like weird things start to happen it's like you know I think it was one of those the parents tried to kill her she stepped in kid gets saved but it's one of those like should the kid have been saved kind of situations um is the kid evil or is there evil following her kind of 
it's an interesting movie worth watching if you've never seen it and then there is Candyman: farewell to the flesh which is the second movie i love the Candyman movies i believe there's a third one i'm pretty sure i've seen it like i said i love there may even be a fourth one somebody let me know how many Candyman movies did they make um I like the Candyman movies. I like the guy that plays Candyman. I can't, I couldn't tell you what his name is off the top of my head, but so that's on there. And I, it would be nice if they could add all of them. Then we have Heredit Hereditary, which is a newer movie. Um, that's one that people have been talking about lately. That is on there. The Woman in Black. I'm kind of speeding through this because I realized I've been talking kind of slowly. The Woman in Black, um, I've mentioned this. This is rated PG-13, so this was off of my list of best PG-13 horror movies. Daniel Radcliffe is in it. It's a good movie. I have watched it recently. I enjoy it a lot. So that is on there. And then we have Return of the Living Dead 3. This was made in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s. It's kind of cheesy, but... I really enjoy it so it's one it's another one that I remember um, renting on VHS from the video store so it's a little bit nostalgic for me Sleepy Hollow is also on Prime it is under the horror movies but it's also under I think thrillers um, Johnny Depp one of my favorite Johnny Depp movies, probably. Um, if you've never seen it, I would say you've probably been living under a rock, which probably sounds mean. So if you haven't watched it, definitely watch it. It's it's really good. It has Christina Ricci in it. The cast is amazing. It's a period movie. Um, Night Skies is another one. And this is one I remember renting from Netflix when I was still getting like actual CDs in the mail. Um, it's about a people traveling in an RV and they're abducted by aliens. It's allegedly based on a true story. It's well done. The lady that plays um, JJ on Criminal Minds is in it. I think her real name is AJ. Um, th that actress is in it. So it's not, it's not a bad movie. And then Jigsaw is on prime right now so if you hadn't been seen that yet that is the newest saw film that is also on prime so yeah those are my picks for horror movies that are on prime right now definitely go check them out um leave me a comment down below let me know if you have prime what you've been watching um because if there's any i didn't mention i will definitely check them out thank you guys so so much for watching um please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys